Superstorm Sandy taught us a lot about preparing for a disaster, yet there are still so many people who are not ready for an emergency. September is National Preparedness Month, and here with more is Rosie Taravella, CEO of the American Red Cross New Jersey region. The time to prepare for an emergency is before it happens. So what are some things we can do? Uh, we ask people to get a kit together, make a plan, and be informed. And uh, making a kit is easy, especially when the disaster isn't upon us. You can go to the store and find a number of things, uh, batteries, um, medical equipment, um, three-day supply of non-perishable food and water, uh, just things that are going to get you through if you don't have power for a few days. Absolutely, because you really won't have time to get it together if you have to leave suddenly from your home. And what is the next step? Um, making a plan means that the family knows exactly what to do should a disaster strike. Uh, even something as simple as a house fire, knowing where to meet outside of the home, uh, but also if it's more extended and uh, you're being asked to evacuate, know where you're going to go, who you're going to see, and if the family's separated, they can make that plan of how they'll get back together. Sometimes phone lines are down, you can't communicate, so That's it's right. very important. And the third step is to be informed. Be informed, and uh, there are many ways to do that now. If your phone is operating, uh, there are emergency apps uh, from the Red Cross that gives you information on should you need a shelter, it is there. Um, but just all kinds of weather warnings and things are available. So some people use crank radios when the power's out. Those are helpful And as also, well. of course, take care of your pets. Absolutely. Bring them with you. They're part of the plan. All right. Thank you so much. Rosie Taravella of the American Red Cross. I'm Robin Stoloff, and you're living well.